we can actively work to help women feel like they can be more in a spotlight. Regardless of that, that's really important to me. I'm from Philadelphia. It's an angry town. It's, um, it's an ugly town. It's a wonderful town where a lot of weird and awesome things happen, but it's tough and it's very old school in the way that it works. And as far as people getting why people make loud music, um, that still has to be explained a lot in Philadelphia. But coming out here just felt a lot easier. There's more labels here, there's more professionals here, and it's more welcoming. It was just a space where I felt able to not look in a mirror and that was okay to not worry about how I looked while doing something and just do it. And to be loud and to be loud in this way that had been basically traditionally like withheld from girls and women. I had had instruments taken out of my hand and replaced with other smaller instruments or more classical instruments or I had not been able to play a saxophone, I was given a flute instead, things like that, and I felt like that was ridiculous. We don't teach people how to play instruments. We help them in different aspects of the industry, which are actually ones where you could get a job pretty easily. So there's a direct path between learning live sound, which is a program we have, and then getting a job doing live sound. I think one of the biggest mistakes I made was actually deciding to start a rock camp when I was 25 and on my own. Starting anything by yourself without any idea of who you can ask for help is a really bad idea and I was not really inclined to ask for help. So I think once I realized that I could take that energy and try to fix things and that I could exist outside of that and actually try and work with other people to make um, some real change and some real places where people could go to get away from that. I still live with a lot of rules and restrictions I put on myself. I think that I have learned to give myself a break and it turns into giving other people a break as well. Um, and knowing that we all have our own filters we see things through, especially ourselves. Um, that kind of helps me step outside myself and be able to say like, all right, where's somebody coming from? Why are they coming from that place? How can we reach them? <laughs>